So you've downloaded and installed the latest version of Ecamm Live. Congratulations, but what are the next steps? Now, before you dig into those menus, and I know you want to, and explore all those fun features, let's just take a step back and think about the running order of the show that you're actually going to present. Now, a running order is simply how your show will run from start to finish, and what visuals you'll need in them to make this happen. Now, from my experience, it's always best to have a plan, a storyboard, if you like, with regards to how your live stream should flow. So in this video, I'm going to talk to you about which scenes you'll need to get started and the content you should have in them. Now, once you have these set up, your show is going to run smoothly and hassle-free. Scenes in Ecamm are actually placements of content, be it video, graphics, or text that are laid out in a visually pleasing way. Now, each scene can have a unique layout, right? Allowing you to switch between each scene during your show. Now, you can have many scenes in each show and move between them, allowing you to present various materials in a structured and elegant way, which flows and keeps your audience engaged. Now we know what scenes are, let's consider the purpose of each scene and the content you should have in them. For our Ecamm starter setup, I'm going to be focusing on six scenes for your show. The first scene is going to be your intro or countdown scene. So when you press go live, it's actually going to take a little bit of time for your stream to be visible on the old interwebs, especially if you're streaming to multiple destinations. So remember, sites like LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter all behave differently regarding streaming, and all have sort of different levels of something called network latency. So it's best to have at least a minute or two of a buffer before you start to present your show. A countdown timer or intro video is going to provide that buffer and take care of any delay between what you are sending to the old interwebs and what's being shown to your audience. Now, it's entirely your preference on how this countdown timer is shown. Some examples are that some people show a countdown timer clock and a nice graphic with some music playing. Others show themselves prepping for their show in the background with other graphics together with a countdown timer and comments being displayed at the same time. It's really up to you what you want to have at the start of your show. But the good news is that Ecamm makes it super easy for you to create something cool. An intro or countdown scene builds some anticipation with the audience and allows you to get prepared and be ready for when you start your main scene. Scene two, you are the talent. Well, it is your show, right? And the next scene is going to be you and will be typically your main camera that focuses on your beautiful self. <laughs> this is the scene where you connect with your audience, deliver your message, and have that scene focused on you as the main subject, similar to what you're seeing now. For this to look professional, your camera should be at eye level, your audio should be loud and clear, and you should be well lit, and your background should be free from any distractions or clutter. I'll discuss getting things right on camera from a quality and confidence perspective in a later video. For now, let's just focus on your show's running order. So remember, in this scene, focus on your message, be casual, be confident, and connect with your viewers. Scene three is your presentation scene. And this scene combines you and any material that you are going to present. Make the screen share, presentation, or website that you're discussing the main focus. You can still be on camera too, just a little smaller and still connecting with your audience. This setup is more engaging as you can maintain eye contact with your audience just as you would be doing if you were doing this in person. And with Ecamm Live, you can share whatever you want. You can even pull in a feed from another computer if you have one. And yes, you can show a screen from a Windows PC. Oh, the thought of it. But keep that presented material large and clear, as this is where you want your audience to focus their attention. Scene four, be right back. So in this scene, oh, just wait a minute. Uh-oh, um, things have gone a bit messed up. Where did my, where did my camera go? Where did, where, where's my audio? I've lost the presentation that I'm doing. You, you can't, you Things can 
and sometimes will mess up. After all, this is a live stream, right? So it's always good to be prepared for problems. You also may need to take a break if it's a long stream. I'm just saying. But that's why a Be Right Back scene is invaluable to have ready in your live stream, in your running order, just in case. It's that crutch you can reach for if something messes up or fails. The Be Right Back scene should have a graphic or words explaining that you're going to be back soon and have some music playing in the background to keep your audience entertained. And remember to use the mute function within Ecamm to mute your main mic, just in case you need to fix something. Your audience doesn't want to hear your is as you try to get your cam link or Apple's continuity camera connected back to your system. Joking aside, I found that having a Be Right Back scene invaluable in your run of show and live stream setup. You may never have to use it, but if you do, you're welcome. Scene five, guest time. Having a guest on your show? Then you'll need a scene for that. Actually, you may want to have two scenes. Let me explain. Guest scene one is where you and your guest share equal space on your live stream, as if you were in an interview type scenario, side by side, chatting away like old friends. The second scene, however, is where you would make them the focus, showing the camera full screen within your show and giving them the stage, albeit virtual. Again, this is a personal choice, but having your guest in full screen lets your audience connect and provides the optimum platform to get their message across. Scene six, close out. Ecamm makes it simple and elegant to end your show. A simple fade to black as you press that end stream button. But, but, but wait, you could have a timed outro scene that provides a call to action to subscribe to your socials, showcases some of your up and coming streams, talks, in-person sessions, contact details, additional services, etc. Think of this as a YouTube end scene, which you can control at the end of your live stream. This closeout scene could be just 10 seconds or up to a minute long, enough to keep your audience interested in what other material you have to offer. So we've reached the end of all our scenes. And there you have it. You are now a live stream run of show boss. Ecamm Live makes it easy for you to create all the scenes you need to make your show run flawlessly and even makes you a cup of coffee along the way. No, it what, doesn't. What do you mean? It's a piece of live streaming doesn't. software. It doesn't make coffee. I always get a cup of coffee. Don't be so stupid. Anyway, it nearly does all of that. Happy streaming. Well done for completing this video and I will see you in the next one.